We've been able to experiment and try different things and without having to ask permission. We have a lot of flexibility in terms of budgets. I mean, to some extent, we're bound by the, what the capitation grants or research grants or so forth are for. But to a large extent, we have a pot of money that comes from a variety of funding sources, and the administration, together with the trustees, can decide how we allocate it. So we may allocate more in this direction one time and more in that direction another time. And I'll compare this, say, with the United States um, state universities, with which I'm most familiar. Most of their budgeting is line item. So when the legislature approves a budget for a university of such and such a state, that means if you've got a million dollars in this line for library acquisitions and you only need 700000 you can't take the excess 300000 and use it to buy equipment for the medical laboratories because that's taking it from one line to another. We have that flexibility. We can make reasonable decisions about how you allocate and deal with budgets. And that, that's a very important thing. We also have a lot of flexibility on internal curriculum development. Now, if we're going to start a new school or go off in some new direction, we have to present a case to the Ministry of Education after trustee approval and, and explain why we want to do that and, and get the okay. But otherwise, we operate really quite independently.